Hello and welcome to Frontrunner Motorsport. There's not a lot of good news in motorsport at the moment. Formula E has had more cancellations and postponements. Formula 1 has been delayed and Extreme E was put back to spring instead of being on our screens right now. But there has been some good news and very interesting news to come out of Extreme E. A series I am really looking forward to watching. So let's sit back, relax and take a look. Welcome to Front Runner The field for Extreme E is almost filled up with only a few seats left to fill. And there's a lot of interesting drivers. There's a few X Formula 1, Rallying, Rallycross, X Games, Touring Cars, General Sports, all represented in the field. But the one that has caught my eye most extremely is the announcement that Jensen Button will race for his own team. Jensen Button is a busy man. He's currently running for Rocket RJN McLaren team in the new format DTM series, as well as being special advisor to the Williams Formula 1 team, whom he used to drive for in his debut season all the way back in the year 2000. And he is also running an Extreme E team called JBXE, and now he is also racing for them. Has he fallen out with his wife? I'm presuming trouble at home for his reasons for wanting to be working 365 days of the year. He's spreading himself over plenty of different projects. But I am definitely interested in how he will get on in Extreme E. I don't think he's really done anything like it. He'll be joined by someone, a female driver, who is yet to be announced. It's one of the few seats yet to be confirmed. He will also be going head to head with teams owned by Nico Rosberg, who's got Rallycross star Johan Christofferson and Australian rally driver Molly Taylor on his books, and also the team owned by Lewis Hamilton, Team X44, driven by nine-time WRC champion Sebastian Loeb, and regular Dakar rally runner Christina Gutierrez, whose experience on the dunes will be an advantage to a point. She has at least driven something like this before. Other teams already announced are Apt Cupra, with former DTM and World Rallycross champion Matthias Ekstrom and experienced German Claudia Hertgen. Axonia Sainz XE team have their own WRC legend in Carlos Sainz, also driving for his own team alongside Laia Sands, a successful trials rider who has raced in the Dakar rally. Andretti United have another World Rallycross champion with Swede Timmy Hansen, alongside British rally driver Katie Munnings. Chip Ganassi have an interesting lineup. Sarah Price is a former motocross rider who has competed at the X Games, as well as in stadium super trucks. She joins Carl LeDuc, who is a very successful off road short track racer, not a well known name, and definitely an unknown quality. The Hispano Souza Excite Energy team have another rallycross driver in Oliver Bennett, not a champion but a decent racer all the same. He races alongside Christine Giampolo Zonka, a successful Italian rally driver, although this is a big step up for her. Veloce Racing have W Series champion Jamie Chadwick with Stefan Sarazan, who continues his quest to race in every category of racing ever. The last team on the list is Tachita, who are yet to announce their driver lineup. I wouldn't be surprised to see John Eric Verne in this seat, depending on how it clashes with the Formula E calendar, which is a calendar not set in stone at this point given all the cancellations. The series is still set to begin in Saudi Arabia at the moment, even though it was delayed into the spring, but nothing is certain yet. The Nepal round has already been cancelled, replaced by Argentina set to happen in mid-December, but it's hard to know what will happen as late as December this year, let alone April, when the series is set to start. If you ask me who I thought was going to win, my pick so far is Matthias Ekstrom. He's a guy who's taken to everything he's raced, and I can see him doing well in this. And teammate Claudia Hertgen is also an experienced hand. If not Ekstrom, then Carla Sainz or Johan Christofferson. As for Button, it's hard to say how fast he'll get up to speed. There's no word on who will take the other seat for his team. I kind of hope for Emma Kilmalainen or maybe Bites Gavissa, someone from W Series anyway. Whoever gets the last few seats is only going to make the start of the Extreme E more exciting and I can't wait. In other news, Lewis Hamilton hasn't yet signed a contract, so Bottas and Russell still have their fingers crossed. I'm sure he'll sign it eventually though. Science has driven a Ferrari for the first time. He said he liked it. He was unlikely to say otherwise. Bottas has been seen in a rally car in the Arctic Circle doing a few test runs for the first ever World Rally Championship event to happen in the circle. I don't think he's going to be entered into the actual rally, but it would be cool to see him do something other than follow Lewis Hamilton around. I don't know if Mercedes would let him, pretty sure Cubits have ruined that for everyone. Finally, and most sadly of all, Adrian Campos has passed away. 
He has brought his junior Formula team to a few successes over the years, best of all the team's championship in the 2008 GP2 series. As a race driver himself, he raced in Formula 1 with Minardi to little success, but he was a Spanish touring car champion. I'm sure the Campos team will continue his legacy. So that is the video, thank you very much for watching, please remember to subscribe, leave a comment, like and share, stay safe and have a good one.